Job satisfaction is one of the primary factors that people consider when they're thinking about where they want to work. And while some people would be happy with any job that pays the bills, most of us want something more out of our jobs than just a salary. The best companies to work for are those that offer above average salary and benefits, but they also offer more than just that. And there's really five things that the best companies out there offer their employees, and salary is just the first one. Benefits are second, then opportunities for growth and development, then enjoying what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, and also a positive work environment. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the best companies to work for in 2022 and why their employees work there. Now, if you appreciate videos like this and you want me to make more like it, go ahead and let me know that by gently tapping that like button and hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell if you haven't done it already. And as always, comment down below your thoughts, comments, et cetera, that you have on the video. All right, so number 10 on this list is going to be Salesforce. Salesforce is an American cloud computing company that develops and sells a customer relation management platform called Sales Cloud. They also sell marketing service and commerce platforms known as Service Cloud, Commerce Cloud, and Quip. Now, employees feel that the work-life balance at Salesforce is stellar, and they also feel like there is a lot of room for growth and opportunity. In many cases, is flexible schedules are available for those who want to work from home or do a hybrid model where they work some of the days in the office and some of the days at home. From some of the reviews I saw, employees did feel like they were relatively respected by management and they were actually listened to. And the benefits are top notch with just about every single one that you can imagine. And this includes mental health care, 401k, stock options, and very generous maternity leave. Now the average base pay for all of the employees at the company was about $71,000 per year. And for software engineers specifically, they made around 138,000 per year. Then they had an additional pay average of about 15,000. And then account executives made 89,000 per year with an additional pay average of 83,000. So as you can see here, really good pay, good benefits, and a lot of opportunity for growth. Coming in at number nine is Lululemon, which is a very well-known clothing brand for athletic apparel. They are best known for their signature yoga pants, which started off appealing to women, but they since have expanded into men's clothing as well as children's. Now, some of the reviews included employees saying it's a very fun workplace and they offer a lot of discounts on clothes that they would buy anyways. And employees do seem to enjoy their job as well as having a really good work environment. They feel that their work is fulfilling and leadership actually listens to their feedback. On top of that, the benefits are great and the company does offer really good opportunities for development and moving into managerial or leadership roles even though it's in an industry that doesn't necessarily have a reputation for giving a lot of opportunities. So for instance, store manager salaries are about $71,000 per year with an additional pay of 16,000 on top of that. So this is an example of a company where even in a pretty competitive industry where most of the time people are not treating their employees super well, you can still have a company that comes in there, treats their employees well, and wow, it's incredible what ends up happening when companies do that. It's almost like happy employees are more motivated to make the company more money. Number eight on the list is going to be Veterans United Home Loans. Now this is a home loan provider for military veterans as well as their families. Now they started as a home loan lender in 2006 and since then they have grown their brand and become one of the most trusted companies in the United States. VUHL offers their employees flexible work schedules so a lot of the time they'll actually allow their employees to design the schedule so when they come in and when they leave. Employees also feel like they are taken care of by the company and the company does embody the employee's personal values. There's lots of opportunity for growth within the company so you're actually rewarded for your hard work. Employees do feel like there's a very good team environment and it's relatively wholesome. However, the dress code is lax but they're still able to maintain professionalism. According to glassdoor.com, loan officers make about $88,000 a year at this company and that is well above industry standards. So it seems like one of the biggest reasons why people are very happy working here is because they are truly helping out veterans. Many of the people who work here are veterans themselves and they want to see other veterans being taken care of. Number seven on the list is going to be one of the most well-known companies in the world and that is Google. Now I don't think I need to say much about Google. They're pretty much always on this list. Um, sometimes they even come in as number one. Possibly the most prestigious company for you to work at in the entire world, especially if you work in tech. And Google is so well known for the benefits
benefits that they offer that they even made a movie about it called The Internship. So I really don't need to go into a lot of detail there, but you do see that the average base salary is about $121,000 a year with $16,000 average bonus. And then according to Glassdoor, software engineers make about $132,000 a year on average at Google. Program managers, on the other hand, make about $147,000 a year with an additional average pay of $25,000. Number six on the list is going to be Boston Consulting Group or BCG. And this is a top tier management consulting firm. And BCG provides strategy consulting to a multitude of different businesses within different industries. Now, many employees here say that they have exceptionally good health benefits. A lot of the time, the company will not only pay 100% of all of your healthcare costs, but they'll also pay 100% of all the premiums for your family members as well. Maternal leave pay is four months and paternal leave pay is two months. They offer a lot of different growth and career opportunities, so you're rewarded for your hard work. Leadership is very proactive about making sure that you get the best out of yourself. They also offer a lot of different special events where you'll get free food or gifts if you attend. They're also a relatively diverse workplace and employees a lot of the time are able to choose their own schedule or at least have some choice over when they're in the office and when they're at home. And it looks like on average employees at this company make around $90,000 a year with a $9,000 average bonus. And consultants on average make $175,000 a year with an additional pay average of $35,000. So over $200,000 a year total. Number five on the list is going to be Box. And this is a cloud computing company based in Los Altos, California. This company was founded in 2005 by Aaron Levy and Dylan Smith while they were still students at Stanford University. And Box has become one of Silicon Valley's fastest growing companies. They were recently valued at nearly $3 billion. Now, according to some of the reviews, uh, coworkers here seem to genuinely like each other, and they say that it's a family atmosphere. Now, the whole having a family atmosphere thing is almost like a meme at this point. Um, it's very cringy in many cases when companies talk about this because a lot of the time when they say that it's a family atmosphere, what they actually mean is it's kind of like a cult. But it does seem to be that this company actually does have a family atmosphere. Now, the work here is said to be very challenging, but there's also a great support system in place to help you get that work done. And you're also rewarded very heavily whenever you do a good job. And employees here do feel that the company genuinely does care about their well being. Now, this is going to be a smaller company. That than a lot of the ones on this list. And generally speaking, um, there's pluses and negatives to working at smaller companies. You do sometimes actually have that family atmosphere at smaller companies, not all of them, but sometimes you do. Whereas when a bigger company expands, they have like you know thousands and thousands of people working for them, you're pretty much just not gonna find that. So there is positives and negatives to working at a bigger company versus a smaller company. At smaller companies, it's almost like being in like kind of a smaller tribe where you do feel maybe a little bit more more valuable because if you left that tribe, it truly would not be able to replace you or it would be much more difficult to replace you. Whereas if you're just a tiny little cog in the giant machine of a big company, you do feel like you're kind of more replaceable and you're almost just like a little worker ant. So everyone is gonna have their own preferences when it comes to working for a small company versus working for a big company. And I have gone over the pros and cons of that in other videos. Next one on the list, number four is going to be EXP Realty. Now EXP is a real estate State company with a distinct corporate culture and an innovative approach to doing business. They're among a handful of businesses that are trying to make the process of buying or selling a house as painless and frictionless as possible. And employees that work here feel like there is a great company culture where they work as hard as possible to please their clients as well as the people that they work with. And the reason they feel this way, even though real estate is generally a really competitive environment, is because they have a very strong network with in eXp Realty. This makes it extremely easy for a real estate agent to refer a customer to another real estate agent and easily get paid for that. And the revenue share is also really good between the brokers and the realtors. And then all staff members within the company are relatively accessible and it's not that difficult for you to get a hold of them, which again is very rare in real estate. They also offer really good work from home opportunities, a very good work-life balance, and cutting edge technology to help you with your job. The benefits are also 
very good here. They've got health benefits, 401k plan, and flexible paid time off. And the average real estate agent is making $78,000 a year with $14,000 in bonus. Software developers at eXp Realty also make very good money with about $117,000 to $127,000 per year in base pay. And senior software engineers make around $96,000 to $167,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be another consulting company, which is Bain and Company. Bain and Company is a global management consulting firm, and they are also a private equity firm. They provide management consulting, private equity placement, financial advisory, and risk management services to corporations, nonprofit organizations, and governments. Employees here tend to feel that the leadership cares about them. They tend to feel like there is a lot of opportunity for growth and development within the company. There's also a great teamwork atmosphere, and employees do generally like each other. There's also a lot of awesome benefits. Many employees are allowed to work from home or work remotely. And employees at Bain & Company make about $86,000 a year. And consultants are making $174,000 with an additional pay of $30,000. So overall, over $200,000 a year for consultants. Number two on the list is going to be HubSpot. HubSpot is a marketing service SaaS company. SaaS stands for Software as a Service. And their aim is to make inbound marketing easy for businesses of all sizes. And this Boston-based software company was founded in 2006. And employees rave about HubSpot's internal culture and they're really trained to focus on customer impact rather than making money. Yes, of course, making money is important, but when it comes to the long-term health of a company, making your customers happy is probably even more important. People who work here tend to genuinely enjoy spending time with their coworkers, and they also feel like leadership does take their opinions into account. The benefits are great, you can work flexible hours, it has a very diverse staff, and employees don't feel like they are micromanaged. Software engineers make about $126,000 a year with $10,000 in additional pay, and the typical employee at HubSpot makes around $92,000 a year according to pay scale. So not only are they paying their really skilled employees well, but they're also paying their average employees. And this is something you'll notice at a lot of these really successful companies that have a really good work-life balance and good work environments is they pay pretty much everyone pretty well. And the reason for that is because if your employees are happy, even the ones that are you know lower level employees, non-skilled, that's just gonna create a more healthy environment in general at the company. So in order to create a really healthy environment that the skilled employees, AKA the ones that you really want, uh, are happy at and want to be at, they actually have to pay the lower skilled employees really well too. And number one on the list this year is a company that I'm very happy to see in come in at number one, and that is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a hardware and software manufacturing company that makes some of the most powerful graphics cards ever seen. Employees at NVIDIA love their CEO, Jensen Huang. I hope I pronounced that right, so sorry if I didn't. They say that he is very intelligent, approachable, and he's just a very good leader overall. And NVIDIA pays some of the highest tech salaries in the industry with the average software engineer making over $143,000 per year. Most employees at this company make over six figures a year. And apparently there's even a bar at the company if you need a little bit of stress relief in the middle of your day. Now employees say that the work has a very good combination of being challenging but also meaningful. Most employees do say that they feel very lucky and they're very happy to work there, almost like it's their dream career. The leadership does tend to be open to suggestion and they're genuinely happy to help and listen to their employees. Many employees say that they literally would not want to work anywhere else in the world. And they're excited to work on cutting edge technology for the company that makes the best graphics cards in the world. NVIDIA does offer some really good perks and benefits to their employees like unlimited PTO. And there does seem to be a very good mix of work-life balance here. So they do challenge you. It's not one of those companies where the job is just super easy because sometimes that can be a little bit meaningless, but at the same time, they don't challenge you so much that you're stressed out all the time. Now, Glassdoor has software engineers making about $162,000 a year with $33,000 in stock bonus, and they have their hardware engineers making $136,000 with an additional $9,400 in average pay, and they have their sales development representatives making between $57,000 to $62,000 a year in base pay, and then they can make up to six figures a year after stock bonuses, commission, et cetera. Check my other videos out right here, made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.